Hello, expression number 22s. This is Destiny Digits. Let's go ahead and dig into your reading. And so we'll start with the two white cards at the top. One card popped out. That's the blank card. And in the bottom of the deck, we had sexual assault and abuse. So let's just talk about the blank cards. I only have 12 of those in my handmade deck. And whenever they pop out, I immediately look at the clock. Whatever time is on the clock, that's the message I give you. And so the card that came out the time it was 10 17 and so i'm going to put this link in the description box for this website um, but i always google angel number and then i write the number that i saw on the clock and joanne sacred scribes is my most favorite site to go to so i'll give you the link but i'll also pick a portion of it to to read to you um, but please check it out because it's 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 really in depth and it could be helpful for many reasons um so the portion that i'm going to read it says angel number 1017 brings a message that you are heading in the right direction in your life and this has been achieved through your positive affirmations intentions visualizations expectations and actions so through 22s you're doing a lot and all of what you're doing is seen, is recognized, and it's building you and propelling you in the direction that you are truly desiring. Next, it says you have managed to steer your life in a very positive direction and have good reason to feel optimi optimistic and happy with yourself as you have achieved a great personal success. When you expect great things, great things happen. And so wherever your intention and your energy goes, life follows right so kudos to you 22s but you guys are showstoppers top performers a master number 22 those are the energies that grace the world with their presence and when their light is out their life has ended whatever they did whatever they contributed however they decided to serve will be here on earth for decades to come that's the beauty of 22s so let's look at the rest of the cards in your spread so we have sexual assault and abuse so any card that is written in red that is a trauma that humans face right we all have endured some type of trauma not all the same but sexual assault and abuse is one of the most common and so if it hasn't happened to you personally you know someone and if you don't know someone you know someone who knows someone and then we can stop there with that but in the event that you personally at any time in life were, you know, impacted by sexual assault or abuse, I think this message is saying that, you know, everything that happens to us, it really helps mold us into who we are and what our purpose and path is for, right? And so even the most harmful and traumatic events, we being the souls and the spirits that we are, have an ability to collect wisdom, to collect insight, and to collect knowledge and understanding, right? Sexual assault and abuse is something that happens to your physical body. We have to be in this body our entire life. And so if any point in life, your body has been used by another without your consent in any way, it kind of makes this space, this environment of self, a little uncomfortable at times, if that makes sense. And so if you had to endure this, all of the things that you've been doing in your life have been pulling you together. I immediately see the temperance card. But this is being able to balance the good and the bad aspects of this human reality and making it your own. And so that's what angel number 1017, um, that's how I interpreted it you know when it comes out with this card on the bottom of the tarot deck you have the king of wands and this is an energy you know the the wands this is the warrior family these are the fighters the trailblazers they've got this passion this conviction this fire that they just use to 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 move through life right this is the spirit that runs through them and so for you to be the king of wands and to be sitting on a throne this is an energy of self that you have mastered and so a part of the reason why i believe you are so good at you at doing you living you honoring you and fighting for you is possibly because of some type of wrongdoing that you had endured at any point in life and even if it wasn't this specific trauma you know our bodies our vessels have been through a lot 
And so anytime something happens, it gives us wisdom and, and it makes a mark on us, even if you can't see it. And the beauty is that we can turn, as we've all heard before at some point in time, turn our pain into purpose. And so that's what I see in this King of Wands. Let's look at the two Oracle cards uh, at the bottom and to the left. The first one says you can make it through. Your higher self is always guiding you. What wisdom does your higher self have for you? So we talked about wisdom um, slightly. That card has one, five, 15, breaks down to six. So one is independence, five is freedom. This is wanting to be, you know, this is wanting to be self-sufficient, but not stuck, right? We don't want to be stagnant, but we also want to use our independence and our ability to create adventures in this life to bring stability to others. You know, it breaks down to six, which is a number of taking care of others. Um, this is the this is like the fam the lover, the nurturer. That's what six is. And so I think this card is saying your higher self is your six. Your higher self is nurturing you and guiding you. And you're not alone even if it feels like you're alone. And so when when times are hard, you can make it through. You have many aspects of who you are. And how can you tap into the wisdom that it's attempting to connect and communicate with you when times seem harshest? To the far left, I didn't begin with this one. Uh, 34 is on the top, which brings us seven. So three is about communication and four is about stability. Seven is about analyzing. And so this is using your, your ability to express your truth, right? In order to gain knowledge and insight. The card says you are the image maker. What you focused on manifests. What thought patterns do you need to shift? And so 1017 coming out is kind of telling you, you are conscious of the ways in which you need to rethink of how you talk to yourself, how you feel about self. Like you're in the process of structuring your own vessel again, right? You're, 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 you're pulling yourself together when we think about what the temperance card means. And whatever you see is actually what you are about to create. You have that power and you are that powerful. And so if you're seeing a pattern in life that is very uncomfortable or it's not a reflection of you at your core, something needs to happen. A shift needs to be made. You have to realize you're not alone. You have to realize that something bigger and greater is guiding you. And then finally, it says everyone's on their own journey. How can you focus more on your path? You know, sometimes 22s, all eyes are on you. You're a top performer right all eyes are on you and you're a leader you're a builder not only a builder of self but a builder of others and organizations and you can build anything whether it's physically energetically it doesn't matter you can build anything but sometimes our energy can kind of be pulled and scattered and so the the number on this card is 31 which gives us four again i think this is about bringing in your energy to yourself finding your own stability before we start to expand and share ourselves with others so how can you focus on self what does your journey need and in what ways can you pull back your energy from others and really bring it all home to you the beautiful thing you have two amazing cards the sun card and the ten of cups the sun card is happiness enlightenment success and joy it's it's a time of fertility this when the sun shines things can be fed right think about the position of sunflowers they extend towards the sun because it's a source of life it brings knowledge and awareness and understanding and then the ten of cups talks about fulfillment and love finally having relationships that are are unconditional when we're talking about how they love you right this is about building legacies based on love having family connections in the family unit that you always dreamed of even if you didn't have it but you coming out as the king of wands says that you're a fighter you've been through things right and now you're sitting on this throne you have the ability to reflect on any trauma you've endured and you can sort through those things to find your purpose all right 22s i'm hoping this was helpful thank you so much for being here take care Bye bye